everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video review for the Spelling UC program. I've had a lot of questions about that and we used it last year successfully. We liked it and I think we will probably continue with that this year. So I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like and um, what you get when you order the product. So if you'd like to see that, stick around and let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is kind of what the units look like. These are the four that I'm going to be using with my students this year, and I'm a little bit off on grade level, so um, you'll probably want to contact Spelling UC and kind of just uh, get a feeling of where you should start. I'm going to be using E for my uh, seventh grader next year, which actually I think probably I should have gotten her uh, up a little bit. Um, D is going to be for my fifth grader, B is for my first grader, and C is actually for my um, fourth grader, which um, this one probably is going to be a little bit too easy for her, but she still writes fairly large, and so I thought the lines on this one would be a little bit easier for her. So um, they all have different themes, as you can see. This one's animals. Um, this one, the Jack and Jill one, I believe, are uh, mostly like uh, poems and rhymes and that kind of thing. Americana has a lot of just American history passages. And the American Spirit one has uh, information about some of the more famous people and inventors and that kind of thing. Um, so um, they all have different uh, themes to them and they're all like good information that uh, just information that your kids should kind of know and they learn it quite well as they go through this and I'll show you why in just a second when we take a look inside the book. All right, so we're just gonna take a quick look inside some of these. So this is the level C um, and I actually, um, I think, maybe more like second or third grade I would recommend this to. This is the teacher's manual and to be quite honest with you I, I read through this at the beginning um, and then you don't really need it but it comes with it um, but all of the instructions do come in the the student workbook so it just kind of explains to you um, kind of how to go through the workbook what to do um, and then kind of what they're going to be reviewing for each um, section um, and then it goes through the passages for dictation so you can always use your uh, teacher's manual for that quite honestly I just grab their book and read out of them so, um, so uh, there's also the answer keys for what they should be um, uh, highlighting and all of that in all of their passages so um, you can use that for that um, I usually just kind of look through and just do it on my own but um, and then each one of the units comes with two workbooks part one and part two and as they open up their workbook, there's a passage on the left side, and like I said, it tells you, read the story to your student, um, have them point to each word as you read, it kind of helps with reading, and then they find and mark the vowel chunks for this one in yellow, and so anytime there's a vowel chunk in here, like EA or whatever, they'll mark it, and we just use highlighters for that, um, and it tells them, you know, here's the vowel chunks that they're wanting them to find, and so they have to just go through and identify those in the passage. And then the next thing that they do is recopy the passage, and they're going to be doing this again tomorrow and sometimes for in the beginning it'll be a half a passage today and then the other half would be tomorrow. Um, sometimes they'll do the whole thing um, and they'll just be rewriting it and identifying and then on the last day um, you dictate the story to them and they rewrite it just from uh, memory. And then they'll start off with a new passage and same thing they're going to be identifying this one is consonant chunks. Sometimes they'll be doing both vowels and consonants. Um, and then they'll rewrite the story. They'll do it again the next day, rewrite again the next day, again the next day. And then finally you'll do the dictation work. So um, it's basically the same repetition as far as each passage goes. Um, and uh, the passages length and information I think are what is really what makes the difference between the levels in this. So how much you think your child is capable of writing in one sitting and that kind of thing. And then of course the sizes of the lines as they get older the lines um, and the words get smaller and that kind of thing. So for example my uh, fifth grader did the level D last year and hers was a, a, I'll show you that in a second, but it's you know a much longer passage and uh, smaller lines and all of that kind of jazz. So anyways, um, it's basically a copy work kind of slash dictation slash identifying these and I think the theory is that you know through repetition of seeing the words and writing the words and seeing the words and reading them and writing them and seeing and reading and writing um, just over and over again that they'll um, that they you know memorize uh, the words and so honestly I was a little bit skeptical when we first got this for review and so I still had them doing our other spelling program and there is no word list or testing like you would normally see in a spelling program so this is a little bit different um, but I will say that at the end of the year this year we took our standardized 
tests and um, spelling scores for both of the kids that had used this program um, increased tremendously and I don't know if it was um, you know a combination of the two or if this really does help that much but the um, our increases were actually quite noticeable so uh, we will continue using this next year so this one is going to be for my fourth grader she actually I probably should have got her, I should have got everybody a level up but um, than what I got them except for my first grader who's doing level B which I think will be appropriate for her. So let's go through and I'll just show you the other levels so you can see what they look like really quickly. All right, so here's the level E um, and again it kind of comes with teacher handbook, kind of tells you, um, you know, passages for dictation various information about the lessons. It's really not, you know, and then the answers as far as what they're going to be highlighting and looking for and that kind of thing. And of course she's got more things that she's looking for now that she's a little bit older. Um, and then it also comes packed like this. So you get both of the workbooks, plus it comes with um, a set of colored pencils, which is really nice because you can use your colored pencils to mark. Um, we either use these or highlighters like I mentioned before, um, but you can always use some extra ones of those. So this is level E, just so you can kind of see the difference between level C and level E. Obviously her passages are a little bit longer. She's still going to be marking the information, but then you can see her writing is um, obviously smaller and there's definitely more of it. So um, one thing that I really do like about this, and we kind of use it as just handwriting as well. We don't do handwriting um, anymore now that we're doing this. Um, as you can see, the lines are quite a bit smaller. Um, and so they are practicing. They have to do nice and neat handwriting or I have them write it over. Um, at the same time, they're learning information about famous, you know, Americans and uh, inventions and things like that. Um, they're also kind of looking for, um, you know, the, the various vowel teams and consonants and, and spelling, uh, phonics kind of things. Um, and so it's kind of like covering a few different things at once because they're, you know, not only memorizing these passages, learning the information, and um, also learning how to spell the words um, properly as well, as well as use them in context. So it kind of covers a few different things um, in my opinion. So this is what the level E looks like. Again, there's part one and part two. And the passages, I think for this one, are fairly um, consistent throughout as far as length and information. So that's level E. All right, here's level D, and they all come with this code that you can use to um, get more helpful videos and information for that level, so you can log on to their website. Um, here's what level D looks like. Um, passages are somewhat similar, but um, a little bit shorter and slightly larger um, uh, lines and fonts from the level E one. So that's level D, and we'll be using this um, for my fifth grader this year. All right, and then here is level B, and again, it comes with a teacher's manual, a code to get for more information. It also comes with a handwriting guide, since at this stage they're still working on letter formation. Of course, it comes with the pencils. And then here's what the, um, the text looks like. It's just slightly different. So these are mostly nursery rhymes. Mary had a little lamb. Um, and they're going to copy some of the words. And then over here, um, from the teacher's manual for this one, you're going to write the words that their teacher says. And these are obviously all three-letter CVC words. Um, they'll do practice some handwriting. Again, write the words your teacher says. And so they're kind of getting used to creating their own as well as doing a handwriting practice. So I most likely will not have her do handwriting this year since we're uh, using, she's going to use this. Um, and this one is more obviously as an introduction. They do get into some longer words here towards the back and in part two um, as well. So as you can see, they have a part two for this one as well. And then towards the end of part two, you can see they're writing um, more full passages, more words um, on their own, and they aren't doing as much of the letter practice and that kind of thing. So, and you can also see that these words are, um, the passages are smaller, and of course the words are quite a bit bigger and the lines are quite a big, bit bigger as well. And I like these because they really just kind of can copy the text, they're learning it as they're copying it, and then um, always on, on one of the final days they draw their own picture and make up their own rhyme um, that kind of correlates with that story and um, they always kind of like doing that one as well. So. Okay, so these are the units that we're using this year, and like I said, it's a little bit of a different approach to spelling. Um, I do still give my older kids spelling lists to work on. I just think it's important that they um, are kind of, you know, memorizing a, a word list as well, and, and also it gives me something to test them on as there are no real tests um, and assessments. But if you go on to the uh, Spelling UC website, they do have information on how to assess 
um, their progress and that kind of thing that is helpful so you might want to check that out um, like I said we actually ended up really liking this I wasn't sure about it at the beginning but um, uh, I think it's effective and like I said it kind of covers multiple um, things in one kind of uh, swoop. So I hope this video helped some of you out that were curious as to what this looked like and how to use it. And I do have my students do basically one um, kind of page a day. So they're going to highlight and then write and then the next day they'll highlight and write um, and the next day they'll um, highlight and write and the next day they'll do dictation. So all right, so that is what the Spelling UC program looks like. I hope it answered some of your questions and helped some of you out. If you have any more questions, you're always welcome to email me at confessionsofahomeschooler.com, um, erica at confessionsofahomeschooler.com, or you can check out my website as well. I have some posts on this product, and you can, of course, talk to the Spelling UC folks. They're super, super nice, and they can probably help you out with placement, appropriate levels, and that kind of thing for your students. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you for the next one.